Hey, good morning everyone, or I guess it's almost the afternoon. I hope you are all having a fantastic Tuesday. I'm really excited that so many of my friends from my class this year and my class last year and even some of my friends from when I was student teaching at um, Ballinger Creek. Hi, Bobcats. I'm so excited so many of you are enjoying these videos. I even have some friends from church that have been watching me that go to different schools. That's awesome. I love having people watch me read. I miss having a classroom full of students to read to. So we're going to try something new today. I'm so excited about it. I've tested it out a couple times and I've had some hiccups or little boo-boos. So bear with me. Hopefully this is, this is the video that makes it to YouTube. Um... Mr. Garrigan at fourth grade in fourth grade at Glade gave me a great tip. He told me to try out this cool app called Novel Effect. And in a second, I'm going to get it started. It is going to add cool sound effects to our story today. I brought home one of my favorite stories from school, The Three Pigs. Now, we all know the classic tale of The Three Little Pigs. This by David Wisner is a little bit... Um, a different take on a classic tale. I also brought home three other versions of the story. One of my favorite things to do in my classroom is to pick a classic tale, a story that we've all heard a bunch of times, and to read different versions of it and talk about um, things that are the same or things that are different. So I'll definitely be sharing those with you guys this week. So let's see if we can get this story started with some cool sound effects, all right? So, here we go. The Three Pigs by David Wisner. Once upon a time, there were three pigs who went out into the world to seek their fortune. The first pig decided to build a house and he built it out of straw. Along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then the wolf said, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. Hey! He blew me right out of the story and ate the pig up. Now, the second pig built his house out of sticks. Along came the wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Come on, it's safe out here. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in, and he ate the pig up. The third pig built his house out of bricks. Along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Wow, why didn't you two get eaten up? We got away from that wolf, for good. Now we have room to move. Watch this. Whoops. Let's explore this place. Okay, just let me fold this up. Uh-oh. Oof. Hey, over here. Wait, what's that? 
I think someone's out there. Come help us with this. Hey, diddle diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Let's get out of here. Whew, where to? This one, come on. How about it here? Whoops. Hold still. High on a hill, there lived a great dragon who stood guard over a rose made of the purest gold. The king was determined to own this treasure, so he sent his eldest son to slay the dragon and bring back the golden rose. Come with us! Hurry! Many thanks for rescuing me, O oh brave and noble swine. Don't mention it. Hey, diddle diddle, look who's here. Welcome. Now what? Find something? What is this? Yes, it's very nice. A fine castle, methinks. It's my place. Notice the brickwork? I did it myself. You know what? Let's go home. Good idea. We'll just have to pick these up. Along came a wolf who knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the pig answered, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed, and he puffed, but no matter how much, he could not blow down. <laughs> so, he climbed. Okay, that's enough. Come inside, everyone. Soup's on. I think we're going to like it here. And they all lived happily ever after. All right, friends, so I don't know if you noticed the pigs. If you've read this story before, you're probably familiar. But the pigs, they managed to get out of their story, right? So they're walking through all these other storybook pages and finding other stories like Hey Diddle Diddle and a story about a dragon, and they're traveling through the pages, right? And then they end up going home back to their story, but they've got the dragon, and they've got the cat, and they've got a bunch of different characters now, and it ends up um, scaring the wolf away, and that's how they get out of their story. So that was a fun take on the um, classic tale of the three pigs. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope the sound effects were fun and you were able to enjoy a story. I will be back with another story soon enough. Have a good day, guys.